Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to correctly enter in scientific notation on a TI Inspire C CX calculator. One of the common problems that I see students uh, having is how to correctly get values into a calculator when they're put in scientific notation. It doesn't mean that they're bad at the physics, for example, it just means that they don't know the correct key combination in order to get it in, and that results in them getting mistakes in their final answers. They lose marks on it. Uh, some of the common mistakes that I see students make is they use what is sometimes called the hat symbol or the roof symbol because they say, well, that means that I'm going to say times 10 to the, raise it to the whatever power of, using that. Um, or sometimes they'll use this button which says 10 to the X because they say, hey, it looks just like scientific notation. The problem is that uh, both of those very definitely can give you the wrong answers. The 10 to the X is basically an inverse logarithm sort of thing, and if you're using the hat symbol, the problem is that by hitting the multiplication button in the middle there, you're actually telling the calculator to treat it as two different numbers. And so for order of operations like bed mass, it's potentially going to cause a whole bunch of errors for you. So instead, what we should be using is this EE button here, because that's the one that actually forces the calculator to know that we are entering scientific notation and that what we're entering has to be treated as a single number for order of operations. So in my example, I'm multiplying two numbers. Uh, the first part's really easy, 5.37. I just enter that in, 5.37, just like I normally would. Now I press the EE button, and on the display, it shows E because it knows that I'm doing scientific notation. I don't have to hit the multiplication button. I don't have to type in a 10 or anything. As soon as I hit the EE button, the calculator knows that I'm going into scientific notation and it's doing the times 10 to the whatever for me in the background. So now I'm just going to hit 6 because it is 5.37 times 10 to the 6. Now I do have to hit the multiplication button because I am multiplying two numbers. I'm going to go 1.22 because I'm typing in uh, 1.22 times 10 to the negative 31. But to get the scientific notation, again, I press the EE button. Now I do have to be a little bit careful because this is scientific notation with a negative exponent. And a lot of people will press this negative sign button here. But you have to remember, that's actually subtraction. That's an actual mathematical operation where you want to subtract numbers. So instead, I should be using this button right here that has a negative sign in brackets. That's what tells the calculator that I'm entering in a negative value, not that I want to do subtraction. So I'll hit that, and then 31, enter, and I get my answer, which on the display shows up as 6.5514 times 10 to the negative 25. Now a quick little note here for the scientific notation end of things, as if I was paying attention to sig digs, when you have scientific notation, you don't pay attention at all to any of the times 10 to the whatever for sig digs. So looking at this number, it's really only three sig digs, and looking at this number, it's really only three sig digs. So I should really be rounding off this answer to 6.55 times 10 to the negative 25 as my final answer with only three sig digs. Hope this helps you out.